Hi guys, my name is Vinay from GSM Pro. Today I want to show you guys step-by-step -step guide on how to remove the passcode lock or iPhone unavailable on your iOS devices that are running on iOS 16.4.1 to 15.7.5. So apparently from iPhone 5s or 6s to iPhone 10 or X, you can use this method to remove the passcode lock or the iPhone unavailable with SIM working perfectly in all Apple services. My goal is to make sure that at the end of this video, you should have a comprehensive knowledge on how to bypass your iCloud activation lock on your iOS devices without any difficulties or without any driver issues. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon to get notified anytime I upload a content like this. So um, with that being said, let's dive right into the video. Okay, before we start the bypass process, you want to go ahead and put your device into DFU mode and then open your device manager and then check this driver you have to see apple mobile device usb driver and you have to see this version version 2017 uh, uh, the date is 2017 sorry with a version 6.0 something something so as you can see in the video you have to check that before you proceed with the bypass if you don't see anything like that then i think you have to fix your driver i'll leave the link to the driver in the description below and you can also fix that with three to if you can do that so once you're done with that you want to go ahead and download the software to bypass the icloud activation lock the link to the software is in the description below once you are done with the downloading you extract as you can see in the video and then connect your device and boot put your device into dfu mode by pressing both power and the volume down simultaneously release the power once you see that the phone goes off keep holding the volume down till it connects to the dfu mode once the device is in DFU mode, you see the details or you see the information. So you want to go ahead and copy the serial number and send to me on Telegram for registration. The price is $8. Don't contact or don't text me for reduction. This is the end user price. Once you're done with the registration, you click on boot pawn. So this will pawn your device to process, to, to proceed with a bypass. Sorry. So as you can see in the video, So once you are done with the pawn, you click on boot and then you choose your iOS version and then you proceed. Now I've chosen iOS 15, that's what my device is running. This will take some time. So you have to be patient. Okay, so the booting process is done. So now you click on backup passcode. This will backup the activation files on the log device. So the backup is done, it's very fast. And as you can see in the video, it will automatically open the directory where the backup is stored. Now you click on factory reset to erase the device. Now you have to proceed with three U2s and then flash the device completely. Um, using three tools as you can see in the video so you put the device into recovery mode to flash it back to factory settings or to hello screen so that we can restore the activation files smoothly without any um error or without any issues so you put it in recovery mode as you can see in the video i'm doing that and then you proceed with the flashing or the restore using three tools so you import your firmware you download the firmware directly from your three tools 
and then you click on you choose quick flash mode and then you flash the device so once you are done with the flashing you go ahead and connect your device again in normal mode this time around you connect it in normal mode and then um <clears throat> In case your device is not detected by the software, then I think you have to close the application and relaunch it. Okay, so in my case, uh, I have to close the tool and relaunch it. Now the device is in hello screen as you can see in the video after restore after restoring or after flashing with three tools it's in um hello screen now so you relaunch the software whilst you connect your device in the hello screen just like that and now we are going to use the dfu helper on this software you click on pawn dfu And then the software will automatically boot the device to recovery as you can see so once the device is in recovery it will open this tool that will help us to boot to dfu click on next and then follow the on-screen instructions Okay, so once you are that, it will automatically point the device. Now after that you click on boot RAM bricks and choose your IS version again. I choose IS 15 because my device is IS 15. Just as we did earlier. So this will boot the RAM bricks so that we can uh, restore our activation files. Whilst the, the RAM bricks is loading. Once again, I want you guys to know I prefer to use the PID software because mine, I'm one of those guys that always have driver issues on my laptop. And anytime I try to use a free software, it always end up with driver issues. And I'll try to fix it over and over again. It, it doesn't work. I use DCSD cable. I use different engineering cables. I even use a professional Edison USB port. Uh, this external USB port it doesn't work so not nothing of um, free software it doesn't work for me and um, <clears throat> it may not work for you also so I prefer the pitch software because they go through for me so um, when it goes through when I try the free software and it goes through it goes through I'll definitely post it for you guys so um, this is not that expensive just eight dollars so after that you click on activate passcode as you can see and then we are good to go so once you click on activate passcode as you can see in the video the passcode restoration is done but the device is here to reboot to home screen this is very simple and I don't think this is this requires any technical skills. You can do it, even if you are a new no uh, new vice. Okay, so the bypass is completed. You can read the instructions on the screen. The device will automatically reboot by default, and then it will reboot and skip the setup. Just right away to the home screen okay so here we are the device is bypassed completely with um, sim working so we are, we are going to um, go ahead and check the sim 
if everything is working. If you follow the process correctly to back up the credential the activation records, then everything will work perfectly. So once you insert the same, it will take some time to um, work. As you can see in the video, it says no service, but you, now it's it's working. So as you can see, it's the same card is working now. Let me try and call. Okay, everything is working. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand and enjoy this video. Um, see you guys in my next video. Peace out.